bet those tents only last maybe like two or three hours. Dad, this is way earlier than you said. I know. You go you can sleep. Can we go get food? Where? going to kill an elk. Opening day? Yep. You excited? Yeah. Buenos dias hermanos y hermanas. Y today, y hoy, is opening day of the elk hunt. Yeah, <laughs> uh, guys, this is the tag I've been looking forward to all year. This is a tag that my daughter drew unexpectedly. This is a super hard tag to draw. I've put in for this tag for a number of years and never thought I would draw it. But uh, first time I ever put her in and she drew it. And I was super stoked the day she drew it. And here we are, four months later, three months later. I've been out here for the last two and a half days trying to get one tied up. We've seen a couple couple really nice bulls I think Braley would be very happy with and it's just not it does not coming down to a number thing she wants to shoot a big mature bull is what she told me when she drew the tag I said they're out here and so we have today to hunt my daughter is a freshman in high school this year which is wild time goes by fast a little side note if you're at home kids and you have and your parents tell you enjoy it because it goes by fast and that's we're talking about life it's really true it feels like not too long ago I was in high school and now I have a daughter that's in high school Anyway, back to the story. My daughter made the uh, high school cheerleading team, and they are a very serious cheerleading team. They're not allowed to miss any day. So we have the morning to hunt today, opening day. I have to have her back in town by four o'clock. And then if we can't get it done today, we are gonna be back out here for hopefully four days. Um, so it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday today. We'll hunt this morning, and then we'll come back out Thursday night and hunt Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning. So we have some time. We're not gonna get too anxious about it. There's not a ton of tags on this unit, but there's some great bulls. And this mountain, uh, I have a lot of memories on this mountain. A lot of memories with past friends, family, Brian and Eric. And now I'm gonna share that with my daughter today and for the next few days anyway. So we are headed to a new area and we're gonna go try to find a big bull for her, one that gets her excited. Let's go put a stock on and see if we can get close. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. How far are we? We're probably 1,500 yards away. But it's going to be tough because there's very little cover. And it's flat with no topography. But we're going to give her, give her heck, right? Let's give her heck. high 200 yards will be five inches high and at 300 you'll be zero so i'll let you know like i hope just when i say low that doesn't mean below his body that just means below his shoulder a little bit yeah just a little bit we're, we're gonna hug that shoulder tight but just you know and you want to go about mid body so if i say a little bit low that's a couple inches lower than what you normally hold don't hold off his body let's go get it close to him though and hey don't feel pressure to shoot this bull if we get in there and he's not the one we have plenty of time. I'm looking like this and he's about like this. So he might be right there by the road. He might be going into this wash to bed. I don't know if it's best to chase him from here. Just try to get, go back to the truck and get in. 
across. There's a gravel road right over here. We saw the elk cross that. There's this dirt road. I'm thinking this is the last piece of like any kind of cover they have before a bunch of open country. So I think they're gonna be in here, but we're gonna just follow this road and see if we can see the tracks and cut the tracks and then make a play. But I think they're gonna be up here maybe half a mile or so. Good morning. I mean, yeah. it's had the biggest bull you've ever seen. Yeah. And we had we had an opportunity at him. That's always the biggest thing. Is we saw him and we got in close. It just didn't happen. But this elk is either going to get killed because he's down so low to the roads, or he just knows his country really well and he won't get killed by anybody else or us. I think we're going to drive out of here, go check a camera I have, glass a couple more spots, and then uh, get you back for cheer. But then. We'll be back Thursday night. This is definitely, I think, the biggest, one of the biggest bulls that we've seen, I've seen this year out here. He's just beautiful, just big, big, big. Big enough for you? Yes. He'd be big enough for me if this was my tag. Guys, we uh, had to come home for a few days, like I said. Brayley had commitment to be at the homecoming, at some homecoming activities, because she's a cheerleader. And then we were headed back out to the mountain for four days to hunt elk, right? Yep. So she is shooting the uh, Weatherby Camilla in the six and a half Creedmoor. And I've been blown away by how well this gun shoots. I even told Kevin, the uh, marketing manager the other day, I might want a Camilla. I know they were built for a, a woman or for a young child, but I shoot it really well. This gun shoots really well. Anyways, we're gonna go see how it shoots today. So what, what I want you to do is get on there, but I want you to shoot, rack another one in, shoot three shots like we're hunting. Like maybe you miss the first one, you gotta get the other one in. How we do? We're shooting low, but then we fixed it and shot high. But this we're is the one left. we, the last two we just shot. So that's pretty darn good at yeah. 300. We're killing a bull elk. Heck yeah, we sure. are. Good, gosh darn morning, people. It is another day. It is another beautiful day. Well, beautiful morning, anyways. Let's see how the day goes. I'm assuming it's going to be a beautiful day. We are back at it. 
we had to go home for a few days. Rayleigh had some responsibilities at home, and uh, well, we're good for the next, we got the next four days. Try to hopefully fill Braley's help tag. Um, we were gonna be joined on this trip with, by Logan, um, Braley, who's dead to the world right now, and uh, my, good old, my good old buddy, B. Mackle. Brian uh, came down last night, did a little scouting for us, didn't turn anything up, but we have somewhat of a play this morning. If you guys watched the last video, we chased a really nice bull, and that was opening morning. That was the only only day we've hunted this this hunt so far. It was opening morning, and we had, then we had to be home back in town. But uh, we got word from my uh, good friend of ours that has the tag as well that that bull is still alive, and uh, we're gonna go try to turn him up this morning. In true typical Casey Hush fashion, we got out of town just a little bit late. We should be glassing right now, but uh, we're about 30 minutes from the spot, so. I texted Brian this morning and I said, tie us, tie us one up, buddy. We need one tied to a tree. Good morning. Nice to see you guys again. Man, I feel like it's been a little while. Uh, the way that this series is formatted and the way we were rolling it out this year, it's not an everyday occurrence. So uh, it's been a little bit. Haven't seen you since Wyoming. I am sitting and waiting. I uh, got a text from Casey that they're running a little late. So the big question is, who is the reason they're running late? I have my assumptions. Was it Logan? Was it Braley? Or was it Casey? Hmm. The sun is just rising. It is absolutely stunning, beautiful sunrise. It's October. The bulls should still be talking. And with any luck, we're going to find this young lady, her first bull elk. Well, like I said earlier, I was a little bit late to the ball game. But we have the elk. Brian's located the elk coming out of the fields. And we just spotted them, and I'm on Onyx trying to figure out a way to get ahead. These elk are hard to hunt, man. They're in these flats with very little topography. And they're used to trucks driving by because they spend the summer out here in the alfalfa. But I'm just trying to figure out a road to get us up above them and not bump them. But I guess there's another hunter out here somewhere Brian saw on a side-by-side. -side, so... Let's see what we can do here. See what we can conjure up. Well, yeah. five minutes later from our last update. So, quick update. <laughs> Jeez. Elk's dead. And not, not, and the blood's not on our hands. Freaking side by side. I don't know, man. I get a little worked up about different uh, tactics of how people kill things, which I shouldn't. If it's legal and it's helping conservation, it should be allowed. But man, side by side just goes ripping through the fields and basically shoots the elk out of a out of a side by side. Gets a little disheartening. I was telling Braley, you know, the opening morning we probably could have killed that bull if we'd have just stuck to the road, jumped out, got off the road, which is legal, and shot it. But is that really how you want your daughter's first elk experience going down? I don't. I mean, it, to me, like killing the elk, actually shooting the animal is such a small part of all of this, or it should be. And, you know, if that's the experience you want, that's the experience you should be able to seek. But for me, it's like, I wanna hunt them, I wanna get out and put a stock on them and earn that thing and not just have the fastest side-by-side, -side, I guess. I'm a little bummed out right now. You know, Logan's trying to put the blame on me, saying I slept in, but everything happens for a reason. Big believer in that. So we're gonna talk to Brian. Brian's a little more fired up than I. He used some choice words when I was on the phone with him about what was going on. He watched it all happen. Anyway, new game plan. I'm gonna go over this other area I wanted to look at this morning uh, before Brian called. And uh, we saw some elk in here. We got a trail cam I really need to check. And we got a lot of things we got to, we can do today. Um, shooting that elk isn't one of them anymore. But we're gonna make the most, right Bray? We good? I mean, it's hard to blame the guy for shooting that bull, you know, the, the way he did, whatever. But we came in here to shoot that bull. I, I was thinking we were gonna spot him, bed him down, and get out and put a stock on him and kill him. But that guy just beats to the punches. His, his plan was better than mine. So it just sucks. I wanted to see what that bull was. He was a nice bull. Bradley kept saying it was her bull, but it's it not was. your bull. Not your bull until you pull, pull the, the trigger and put your tag on. 
Brian's not answering my phone. He must be. Re I'm getting. I'm gonna get quiet, Brian, already on this trip. Brian. You're not gonna get quiet, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where are you? Come up this way. There's a a spot we need to go glass. It's got a pretty good bowl in it. Bogey Bear is wearing his prescription glasses and uh, just spotted a bull long ways away, but we are uh, trying to see if we can get a closer look at it. I haven't seen it yet. It's just in this little patch of junipers. And uh, so anyways, Casey ran up the road a little bit further. Try to get different angles to see if we can check it out, but it looks to be a mature bull with a good frame from what I was told, I haven't seen it. So we spotted a handful of elk from this hillside, but we found saw one that we didn't get a great look at. But he looked looked to be pretty big, so we just got around this backside and parked the truck and we'll walk up on top and just glass into these little ridges where we think he went. It's pretty open, well it's really open country, but when they get into these junipers, they can hide pretty well, so pray thoughts. I'm ready to shoot it. <laughs> Producing. Just cow. And cow and a calf. I think that storm we got last week, they don't need to come to the water. Man, you think they'd just come hit it. The big bull was spotted over here a couple days ago, and I got excited because I was like, he will be on that, cam that camera. He's not, he wasn't seen very far from here, about 600 yards from here, or maybe a little more, but they're using other water. I guess throw out the blind idea. <laughs> To the next plan. On to the next plan. I thought the next plan was uh, breakfast. Well, B and E at the local buffet or cafe. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I wonder what Braley will, will want to do. She'll probably want to hunt or go to and eat breakfast. What, what's your guess? Definitely pancakes. Okay. So Got to give the hunter what they need. Really? Yeah. Casey just spotted a bull, I guess. He's big. I don't see where we're looking. Well, breakfast just got postponed. <laughs> so glory. Guys, we've been looking for this bull. I think I found him. We were headed out to go honestly grab breakfast and 
just stopped at one spot I like to glass. Glassed up there, dude, probably two miles, mile and a half. Yeah. And I just saw him through my binos and I was like, pretty sure that's not, as soon as I put the spotter on, bull walking through low juniper, junipers, but he was over this rise from where we were at. So we hauled butt up here, relocated him, and now it's time to go meet him, shake his hand. What do you think, Bray? Does he look big enough? Big enough? I can't really see him. <laughs> that's really? a no-brainer. That's a big one. <laughs> really? The answer is yes. <laughs> you shut your darn mouth. <laughs> you just nod your head. That one? Yeah, you see his, it's hard to see, but you see his white antlers? Yeah. His antlers are super white. Okay, let's go. Well, let's make a game plan. It might be one that we get just have to get in close and leave somebody back, but get in close. I know they come out and they feed out into that open at night. He's bigger than the bull we were, your bull. Yeah. It's bigger than the one I filmed earlier. Way, way bigger. What did you say? What did I tell you earlier? When you got kind of bummed that that bull got killed. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, find a bigger one. And what, did we, what did your dad just do? Find a bigger one. He gives you the wow factor where you don't really have to make any decisions. You're like, yep, that's one we should try to get.
drilled him. Get cra crack another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> what did you just do? We got it. Oh my gosh. I told you I had a hundred percent faith that you could kill that bull. I said you have you could you had everything inside you to do that. Even sent through a rainstorm, shivering. That couldn't stop shivering. I couldn't make that shot. Smoked him 300 yards. Braley, I am so proud of you. You have no idea. It's not just because of that elk you just killed. It's because you've always been such a determined person. As soon as you drew this tag, I knew you'd be determined to go out and find a big mature bull. And that, that's, that's what it is with your whole, been your whole life. Me and mom always say you're kind of hard headed, but you're determined. And you'll get things done. Oh my gosh, Braley! Holy cow! One shot! One shot after a rainstorm shivering your butt off. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. I'll never forget this. Well, thanks for helping me stop shivering. I couldn't have made that shot. You did it! I told you we were going to do it. And I left the truck. I said, we're going to do this, right? Yep. Well, six and a half tree more take care of an elk. It's shot placement. You could not write that better. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Give me a freaking hug. <laughs> I can't stop shaking. I cannot believe that that worked out like that. From being way down over there. Coming we weren't out of it. You absolutely crushed him. There was no doubt. <gasps> Should we go see him? Yes, heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Did we just, did we just film a movie? Holy cow, man, you don't know how proud I am of Braley. I couldn't stop shaking. I couldn't stop shivering. She did. The fake bull? Looks fake. Go tell that thing thank you. I'm nervous. Go give him some gratitude. Bull's lived a long life. Where did he come from? What in the world? Braley Butler. <laughs> Look at the body. Thank you. It's gonna feed our family for a long time. We are having back straps for dinner. <laughs> we'll eat anything you want, I'll eat his eyeball. Look at the size Look, of that he has body, fun, man. So. Can he escape a ranch? I don't know. <laughs> Holy crap. Look, there's no blood or anything. He just dropped. Well, a little bit of ground shrinkage, but I don't think she'll complain. Braley, you are the champion. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh my god. Great oh. shot. Wow. <laughs> Dinosaur. You piled him. <laughs> piled him. Did that happen? Oh. oh my god. Oh my. What a day. Great. <laughs> Great shot. Thank you. Oh my wow. gosh, it couldn't have worked out better. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, how we shake buddy? <laughs> Perfect guy to kill a bull, nice and cool. Guys, this is the first time we've ever done it. We take the rib meat and we've done it a couple different ways. Rib, uh, rib roll, we started doing last year. When we killed, if you guys watched the series last year, we did Born and Raised Montana and Ty killed a bull or Trevor killed a bull. I took some of the rib meat and just cooked it on a rock. And I was always worried about this white stuff and the fat, but dude, it was amazing. So ever since then, I was like, let's just cut a whole rib off. So we cut both rib cages out. We're gonna eat ribs when we get home. Look at that. Gosh, <laughs> it's like store-bought stuff. 
we killed the most amazing bull. It was really fun. We made a lot of memories and we experienced every season. And yeah, it was really fun. Okay. <laughs> Why is my pickup better? Look at the size of his head. That is a large animal. <laughs> So we are just packing up camp and getting ready to head home. Thank you guys so much for following along on this hunt. I am pretty happy. I'm actually super happy about, <laughs> about this elk. It's so big and it was a great experience and we made lots of memories. Uh, make sure to subscribe and tell a friend and hit me up for my number. Wait, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Call my daughter, you're gonna die. <laughs>